Welcome back. In this section, we are going to prepare a PNL analytics dashboard. And for that, first of all, I will navigate to the dashboard sheet that I already have drafted. So remember, we have drafted this basic dashboard sheet in the earlier lectures where we have added a profit and loss statement and these, these basic values to our dashboard screen. Now to begin giving it a proper formal look, I will begin by giving this dashboard a title and for that I will click on this show dashboard title and now you can see we have this title that is appearing here. Now of course I don't want this uh, that big visual so I will make it a small visual and for that I will go to I'll select that I will go to layout and I will make it floating and now you can see I can adjust the size of this title as I need. Now let us click here and let us say edit title. And now I will name, first of all, I will add my company name. So I'm going to name this as Turtleco. That is just a random name that I have picked up for my company. And then I will give it the heading of profit and loss statement. And then I will also give it the information. I will also give the heading uh, for the period it relates to. So I will say, for the period for the year end 31st December 2020 now let us change the font of this dashboard so I will make it I will take it to Verdana I'll make it the font size will be 15 let us make it bold and let us change the color to blue and let us click on apply so that we can see how it is looking like don't worry about the sizing we can fix that so i'll go there and i will simply select here and now you can see that we have this dashboard title here so let me reduce the size of this and now you can see we have this beautiful title that is appearing on the top so i think i should reduce the size of the third line so i'll go back i'll say edit title and I will select the third line and I'll make its size from 15 to 12 so that this is nicely fit in here click apply and you can see it is now making better sense and click on OK so now our dashboard has a title now in the next lecture in, in the next task that we have to do for our dashboard is to add some beautiful visuals here and we cannot directly go to dashboard and add the visual rather we will have to add a worksheet and then you know add a visual on the worksheet and then we'll bring that back to our dashboard so let us go to our next lecture and let us prepare our first visual for our dashboard